So, have you noticed that Blazer News is getting really similar to BSN? Yeah, I'm so frustrated! <laughs> Don't worry guys, last week when I was in Blazer News, I snatched the key. We can go break in. Alright guys, let's go. Give them a piece of our mind. safe Canada. We're in this together. Soyez là les uns pour les autres et on va passer à travers ensemble. Blazers, spring is really here, finally, and our environmental quote of the week is perfect for the reawakening that happens every year. Here's a quote from Spanish philosopher George Santillana. The earth has music for those who listen. Listen for the earth's music, Blazers. It's all around us. Whoa! Sorry about that. Hey Blazers, the ECOO programming contest is coming up. This is a programming contest where you have the opportunity to solve six problems with your coding skills. It's taking place on May 1st from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And there will be a practice test available from April 15th to April 20th. If you're interested in joining, then you can self-register online at ecoo.mcpt.ca. If you plan to take the programming contest, you might need something to warm up your brain. And what better way to warm up your brain than with this week's Deep Thoughts. Take a listen, Blazers. And now, Deep Thoughts by Cam Haynes. Sometimes it's not the people who change. Sometimes it's the mask that falls off. Stop sitting in the passenger seat of your life. Take the wheel. I remember one time I actually went into a grocery store and I saw a friend of mine. He's like, ah, oh, you changed, man. Like, what's wrong with you? And then I was like, oh, sorry, my mask just fell off my face. And it was like really crazy because I was thinking like, it's almost like my mask is like a different version of oneself, maybe. And then like, there was this other time you know, I was watching uh, The Last Assembly it was uh, Mr. Dwayne's car show, and I was thinking, like, man, like, cars are kind of a metaphor for, like, life. You know, a timer in the morning wakes you up, just like the keys in the ignition wake up a car. It's like your drive, so to speak. And then I thought, life is a highway. And then I was like, facts. Oh, well, it looks like Angie's not here. Back to the news, I guess. And now it's time for Mr. Swain's computer tip of the week. 
lasers. Have you ever been working on a document and you want to have something on the left side and something else on the right side but on the same line? And you can fake it by like spacing your way all the way over to the other side or you can, you know, if you're really smart, maybe you can tab all the way over to the other side but then you, you can't get the right alignment. It won't be perfect and so here's a better way to do it. What you can do is you can insert a table. So if you go insert table and make a two by one table so it's just one row and then you can type your name up here and then you can type the date over here and then on this side just say hey you be right aligned and you be left aligned and you think well but now you've got this border and I don't want that yeah but what you can do is highlight the whole table like that and then up here you can see that there's some border options and I can change the border to nothing and then all of a sudden I've got a nicely aligned top and I can do that multiple times. So if I want to have a table, for example, with, you know, four, four by two, I can make a table like that. And then I can put stuff in the tables, whatever the words may be and so on. And then I can center it all. And once I center it all like this, I can then do the same thing. I can take away the color and now it looks like I've got these beautifully aligned perfectly aligned with no uh, mistakes whatsoever. So using tables and then making the borders white, that's a great trick. Thanks, Mr. Swain. Those tips are really helping us out. Blazers, it's finally March break, and boy have we earned it. We all need to relax, rejuvenate, and recharge our power supply, but we need to be safe too. It's a little scary out there, so let's be smart, Blazers. Stay in your bubble and use the next 10 days to relax, enjoy that music Mother Nature is making, and get some downtime. See everyone April 19th, ready to rock Octo 7. And as always, don't forget to stay frosty. And cut. Blazer news has been compromised. It's your assembly team here taking over. Hello Blazers, welcome back to a second BSN event and we're very excited to be sharing some very new exciting segments with you. And today we're going to be starting off with a brand new, exciting, chaotic, and confusing Jeopardy game with a brand new host that we stole, I mean hired, from Blazer News. Let's get into it. You got taken away from Blazer News at such a young age. I've been here since I was four years old. I just don't want to be here anymore. I don't like it! Oh. Hello, my name is Andrew, and welcome to the most serious game of Blazer Jeopardy ever! What category will you pick? I'll take beverage teachers. Ah, good. For how many points? For 100, please. Ah, very nice. Stuart, who is the shortest teacher at Bay Ridge? It's gotta be Miss Eccles. Yes! Let's go! Yes! So you all know, I'm using a fake microphone. Mitchell. What do you choose? Sports for 200. Oh my god. Alright, Mitchell. Who is the best Olympian b-ball basketball player of all time? Kelly Oubre. Yes! Yes! I 
that is correct! Alright, Michael. What will you pick? Oh, uh, big sports for 400. Ah, did you know that Bay Ridge football team hasn't lost this year? That's crazy! Alright, Michael. Who is Bay Ridge's best sports team? Uh, the curling team. No! We didn't even have a curling team! That's not even the field hockey team. No, we didn't even have the field hockey team this year. The badminton. No, we also didn't have a badminton team this year. Of course, Bay Ridge football. They are undefeated. No, no. The correct answer is the Bay Ridge golf team. Hold on to me as we go As we roll down this unfamiliar road And although this wave is stringing us along Just know you're not alone I'm gonna make this place your home Settle down and it'll all be clear Don't pay no mind to the demons They fill you with fear Trouble in my dragon So up next, we have an update from Athletic Council, who last week challenged the teachers to a capture the flags game against the students. Let's see how it went.
Capture the Flight Game, sponsored by Athletic Council. The students are based in the front of the school, and the teachers are based in the back of the school. If somebody from the other team goes into the other team's territory, the other team can hit them with a pool noodle, and then they are then sent to jail, where they have to do 20 jumping jacks to return to the game. If a team member retrieves a flag from the other side and gets it back to their side without being tagged, then that team wins the game. Where's Miss Eccles? How do you feel about this upcoming game? I'm excited. I'm ready to go. I can't wait. We're going down. Oh. We're here on the game field. James and I are on defense. We got some teachers approaching our flag over here. Not good at all. Yeah. <laughs> Jill, how's it going? Uh, you know, I'm kind of uh, out of breath right now. <laughs> but, uh, oh no, Miss Pretty Soon. Hey Blazers, I'm here with Mr. Swain. Mr. Swain, do you have a secret weapon to win this game? Oh, I'm fully confident we're going to win. We've had Miss Eccles working on an, an algorithm for about two weeks. You know, we developed it on paper and then she coded it in the computer. We put in a couple of scenarios, you know, kind of Doctor Strange style. We have one way to win this. Sounds reliable. What do you guys think about the players so far? Any cheaters? I think we should. I think we should watch out for Papa Allen. He might. I'm watching him. I'm going to be watching him close. Hey Blazers, I'm here with Mr. Allen. How are you feeling pre-game? I've been practicing for weeks. I've been using this all the time. We got this covered. You heard it here first, everyone. How's it going? Awesome! <laughs> Mr. Referee, I noticed they're guarding the, the territory over there, they're boxed. I got a tree tree? Oh! Oh! Miss Hyatt takes her on. From peace to heaven. How do you feel after the win? Uh, pretty uh, elated that we won. A little mishap going down the hill after Jill, but uh, but we pulled out the win. Yeah, very competitive. I mean, you went all out. Yeah. I'm here with the losing team. How do you guys feel? So we were on defense, and it was an unfair game. Our offense wasn't very good. Eris maybe sad, disappointed, shame. Good job, teachers. You really showed us how it's done. Now, up next, we have an update from Mr. Swain about computer science. Now, here's a look at Bay Ridge Computer Science in 2021. We've had some amazing guest speakers recently in the world of computers. Mr. First son, Kevin, came in as a gaming engineer with Microsoft, and he was telling us what's going on with Xbox in the cloud. We've had people in from Tesla, the University of Ottawa, talking about computers and philosophy, computers and solar energy, and recently we had a session with the Center for Advanced Computing with Queen's University, and we're hoping to have a couple of co-op positions for Bay Ridge students to work with their faculty. 
In addition, in April, we have the Bay Ridge Elementary Computer Challenge coming up, a virtual competition where teams from Trudell, Lancaster, Cataraqui Woods, Sinclair, Calden Park, Bay Ridge, and the Limestone Virtual Elementary School will get together and compete doing computer-based questions trying to see which school will come out on top. From October to March, students at Bay Ridge have the opportunity to take a cybersecurity certification course online through the University of Ryerson. At the end, there was a competition called Pico CTF, where students are encouraged to hack, ethically of course, into a computer somewhere on the internet. The idea is to use the skills that they've learned for good instead of evil, of course. Our team consisted of Michael Cox, Aidan McGregor, Elijah Stafford, Xander Lynch, Carissa Johnston, and Wyatt Falcao. All of these students will be earning their cybersecurity badge, and they have bright futures in this area. Back in February, the NCWIT, the National Centre for Women in Technology, gave out awards across Canada for females who act as mentors and leaders in the field. It's pretty amazing for one person from our school to win, but we had three. A huge congratulations to Emily Swain, Carissa Johnston, and Danica Hassan, all three who were winners of awards at the provincial level. Pretty amazing. The Canadian Computing Competition is a fairly prestigious challenge held by the University of Waterloo. Students across the world write this contest, and it can lead to things like scholarships and bursaries as well. The top five from our school, who had over 20 right this year, were Mitch Stevenson, Emily Swain, Xander Lynch, Kaylee Chow, and in first place, Stuart Logan. Those students wrote the junior contest, but the senior contest was also written by Michael Cox and Riley Lawrence Montag, and the senior contest is extraordinarily challenging, so for those two, to attempt the contest is a feat in itself. Congratulations to everyone who wrote, and especially to these seven amazing students. The Beaver Computing Challenge for grade 9s and 10s is run by the University of Waterloo as well. It's not necessarily a programming challenge, it's more of a computer aptitude test. It tests things like problem solving ability, algorithm design, and stuff like that. We had over 45 students do it at Bay Ridge this year, which is pretty amazing considering we couldn't all get together to do it, it had to be done at home. And the top five students from our school were Owen Swain, Paige Hart, Wen Yu Sun, Xander Lynch, and as a grade nine, Declan Bridges. Congratulations, everyone. Also of note, Amada Nu, Natalie Garvey, and Elijah Stafford are currently in the virtual school, but they participated and they did extremely well. And I thought I'd bring that up because they're still ours. Now sit back, relax, and take a look at some amazing games coded from scratch by some amazing Bay Ridge students.
guys go, you coding wizards. Up next, we have an update from Arts Council, where we'll be showcasing some artwork from art classes. Hello, everybody. This is Kaylee from the Arts Council, and today I'm here to talk about our newest activity in collaboration with the Eco Team. So this is our nature-themed photo gallery in celebration of Earth Day. So send in your nature-themed photos to bssphotogallery at gmail.com by April 20th. All photos that are sent in will be posted on school social media, so make sure to participate. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Awesome job, music class. I love that song. It's an absolute bop. Up next, we have an update from Student Council, and we'll be getting a recap of the Spirit Week. Hey, Blazers, it's Raiden Lindsay, and we're here to wish you well on your new Octomester and on the April break. Yeah, well, we're bringing you some cool new events in the upcoming couple months, uh, so stay posted on the Bay Ridge Student Council Instagram page and also our website. Have a good one, guys. <laughs> hey yo, big wave. Turn the mic on. Small time alongside JW. My 
bestie and your bestie sit down by the fire. Your bestie says she want party, so can we make these flames go higher? Talking about hey now, hey now, hey now, hey now. I go, I go, I ne. Chuck him off in a anane. Chuck him off in a ne. Start my truck and soul jumping. Here we go together. Nice cool breeze and big palm trees. I tell you life don't get no better. Talking about hey now, hey now, hey now. I go, I go, I ne. I play your mama gwele, step on the dancing floor Hips be winding, DJ rewinding, take it to the island way Okay your baby mama, put on your dancing shoes One drop it, pop it low now, take it to the max now Jam in this small jam way, jam in this small jam way My bestie and your bestie, dancing by the fire Says you want party, so can we make this flames go higher? Talking about hey now, hey now, hey now. I go, I go, I ne. Chuck him off in a anane. Chuck him off in a ne. Let me take from here. Salaman girl, straight up, right hoots in mama. Make we party non-stop in a island banda. Swing those hips and back it up to me raga. A chance for party ladies with the doggy doggy. I'm jamming island reggae, rapping blue, green and yellow. Me jumping and me beat, make a slow wine for me baby. Speakers pumping, people jumping. We jamming the island way. Shout out to the good time crew all across the islands. Grab your shoes, let me two by two, and now we shine it bright like diamonds. Talking about hey now. Outside of Blue Thunder here, uh, some of you might know this as where you store your hockey gear. I might store many other things in here, like eco-friendly grocery getters or tons of material. <gasps> Blue Thunder is equipped with not only two but four doors. Back here is where the little kids hang out. I've got two children, complete with its own Lego storage. And up here is where I ride and captain Blue Thunder himself. Now I know what a few of you are thinking, hey, Mr. G, how come there are booster seats in the back and not one in your spot? To that I say, <laughs> touche and get some new material. All right, well, welcome to the cockpit here of Blue Thunder. Uh, we've got a few amenities that I can put my sunglasses or glasses up here and tuck them safely out of the way. The other thing that we will have up in here is a four on the floor, if you will. So I can shift this bad boy into four wheel drive and pretty much turn Blue Thunder into its own tank. That's pretty helpful here in the old Canadian winter. Um, as you can see, I keep my reusable grocery bags for produce ready and empty. I got my quarters for the no frill shopping carts. Big ups to no frills. Uh, convenient with not one, but three cup holders. One pandemic friendly with the hand sanitizer. Some new recent developments in the in the uh, world of Blue Thunder is that I recently found out that if the VIN number starts with a 1, the car is made in the United States. If the VIN number starts with a 2, it's Canadian bread. Now Blue Thunder has a 3, which means that this is 
made in Mexico. That's right, Blue Thunder is a taco truck. As well, I want to get the horn to play La Cucaracha. But maybe in the future. Midway, it's gonna sound like this. <laughs> Listen up, grade nines, coming at ya. Grade nines? Are you there? Is that you? Connection crew here. Can you believe it's April? You know what that means. You only have a few months left of your grade nine year. What? I know. Shocking, right? You've just finished Octomaster 6. That means only two more Octomasters. Two more awesome courses ahead with Bayridge's awesome staff. Only two more Octomasters and you've completed your grade nine year blazers. Isn't that insanity? This year has felt very slow, but at points it's felt very fast. It's been filled with new rules, protocols, and tons of reminders about safety. As wild and wacky as this year has been, you, are crushing it. I want to remind you of the fact that this year has been anything but easy and anything but normal. But you've shown up, engaged, and have done all the hard work. A virtual high five coming at you. A celebration of you and your awesomeness. Oh, sorry team, we interrupt this high five spree to bring you a very important infomercial from our BSN shopping network. Are you sad because you don't get enough sleep at night? Are you sad because you have a huge culminating this week? Are you sad because you only have two Octomesters left this year? Are you sad because you study for eight hours for no reason? Then boy, do we have a solution for you, but only if you're in grade nine. For a limited time only, we are giving away stickers and bracelets to all grade nines at Bay Ridge. Yes, you heard that right. Absolutely free. No cost to all you grade nines. Catch this deal while you can. This awesome merch can be used for just about anything, including slingshots. This deal is out of this world, just like Marin. Bye, Marin. Grade nines, your teachers have these two items ready for you in your classrooms right now. Enjoy this small gesture from us, your connection crew leaders, as a reminder of your awesomeness and the fact that we are pretty darn proud that you are part of this wonderful Blazer community. Next up, we have Edmund presenting the Rockstar Awards. Let's see who the special Blazers are. Today we are pleased to be presenting four worthy Bay Ridge Blazer Rockstar Awards. Through the past year, as we have dealt with the pandemic, it is amazing that there have been so many Blazers that have persevered and demonstrated these characteristics to help their friends and classmates. January 2021, we have Nick Dale. Nick was nominated for the Rockstar by his peers at Bay Ridge. Nick is respectful and listens intently in every conversation. He is always willing to give advice. He has genuinely helped others through peer tutoring in Miss Nimi's gym class. His own classmates appreciate how he assists them in their classes. He is always willing to stand up for people and has the courage to make things right. He is optimistic as he is always in a positive mood and brightens your day with a smile when you're feeling down. Nick is always there to make it better. Nick is selfless with a heart of gold and he is always kind to others and polite. Congratulations, Nick, on winning the January Rockstar Award. Yay, Nick! All right. For February 2021, we have Conlon Sleeve.
Conlon was nominated by several Bay Ridge Blazers. For the R, for respect, in quite a few classes with Conlon, he has shown nothing but respect to both his peers and his teachers. He will always listen in class, finishes his work on time, and puts an amazing effort into everything he does. No matter what people are going through or what their backgrounds are, he will treat them equally. Oh, Conlon is always optimistic and never gives up without a fight. He pushes through even in the hardest times and helps others to do the same. He will always look at everything with a bright and positive attitude and never lets things get to him. C. One student said that Conlon would have to be the most courageous person I know. He's always willing to put himself out there and try new things while also encouraging others to do the same. Just being around him gives you a sense of confidence. K. No matter what you need, Conlon's got your back. He is always willing to help with anything and everything ranging from schoolwork to giving advice to just holding the door for other blazers, Conlon is always kind. As a junior student, we can't wait to see how Conlon continues to make a difference as a rock star at Bay Ridge. Congratulations, Conlon. Yay, Conlon! All right. March 2020-21, the winner is Bronwyn Sims. Bronwyn was nominated by a group of Bay Ridge students. She always has the courage to stand up for her friends and others. She is the type of person that even if you aren't there, she has your back. Whether it's helping someone in a situation where they are being bullied or picked on, regardless of whether she knows them or even is just taking notes for you when you miss a class, she always has your back. She is funny and optimistic. You may question this as a point, but it means that she can always put a smile on your face even when you're sad. Bronwyn's optimism is reflected onto others. For example, when a peer was having a negative mindset in a challenging class, she encouraged them to be positive and work through the challenge that they faced. Bronwyn is respectful toward others. From viewing and understanding other people's opinions to respecting peers and staff, as well as others within the school, commun school community. The last point leads to this one, that Bronwyn is very empathetic. Although she laughs and makes jokes, she can be serious and help you when you need her. Even if you don't tell her, she just knows and is kind and supportive. Congratulations, Bronwyn, on being such an outstanding rock star. Yay, Bronwyn. And finally, Blazers, I have the honor of presenting the Rock Star Award to Grade 9 Elliot Tulkin Shelley. Respect, optimism, courage, and kindness are true characteristics shown daily in all actions by Elliot. Elliot's enthusiasm for genuine engagement in all classes and class activities is infectious to others, which is why he was nominated for this award. He shows optimism by being positive every day and can bring a smile to everyone's face. Elliot quickly earns respect from staff and fellow students as he takes time to listen and get to know you. His ability to take debates to the next level yet be respectful in all interactions is a gift he has that helps build a wonderful learning environment in his classes. Elliot has the courage to speak to others to encourage all Blazers to embrace the rock philosophy. Elliot will talk to anyone and he makes people feel better about themselves. He is genuine and caring. His nature of making everyone feel welcome in any group setting shows his kindness. Bottom line, Elliot takes the time to make your day better through his kindness. Congratulations, Elliot. We're proud to award you with a Rock Star Award today. <laughs> rock Stars, you will receive your t-shirt from your teacher as you watch this assembly today. And keep in mind, Blazers, if you know a student that demonstrates these rock characteristics, nominate them for May and June. We have two more months where students can be awarded the rock star. You just need to email your reasons why to Miss Scarlett or Miss Lees. Have a great day, Blazers. Well done, rock stars. <laughs>
Mm. I've actually never heard of that one. So it's wrong! <laughs> yes, Michael? Home alone. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Home Alone 2. It's not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or 8. So you're wrong! <laughs> Die hard. You're a silly goose, you're a silly goose, you're a silly goose, you're a silly goose. The right answer is it's a wonderful life. Aren't I like Big Mike? First of all, are you returning? <laughs> and second of all, what do you choose? I uh, choose pop culture for 200. Ah. Who is Forbes Youngest Billionaire? Wrong! Mitchell! <laughs> Kylie Jenner. Yes. Mitchell, what do you want? Pop culture for 100. You got it. It's Star Wars Day. <laughs> May 4th. Yes. Factual. And it is also Katie and Joe's birthday. So happy early birthday and happy belated birthday to Katie and Joe! Yeah! All right, Michael. What do you choose? Uh, pop culture. <laughs> Michael, your question is, what is Chandler Bing's middle name? Uh, it's gotta be Mr. Fern. That is incorrect! Bing! Bing! Nadia. That is correct! Congratulations! Let's go! If there was anything in this game that you would want, anything in the whole game, what would it be? I want movies and TV shows for 200, please. All right, I will grant you that wish. Okay, SpongeBob's pet's name. Well, that's gotta be Gary. Gary the, the fish. Yes, correct. What? Oh. All right, Stuart, what do you choose? I'll take movies and TV shows for 400. All right. <laughs> What TV show UK version of it in the world? Two hours later. It's supposed to be, what TV show has a worse version in the UK? And your answer is? The Office. Yo! They have a <laughs> Yes! Just so y'all aren't tricked again, this is fake, by the way. And the winner is... We're going to the mall tonight. Bet. All right, Mr. Allen, can you guess what this word means and use it in a sentence? Your word is bet. Well, uh, bet. Uh, to wager something. So I bet I can jump 20 inches high. Barrage is the best school in Kingston. Facts. Ms. Farnell, can you guess this word and use it in a sentence? The word is fact. Facts? Facts. Um, like, those are some credible facts you got there, Rachel. <laughs> facts as in statements of truth. That's what I'm gonna say. Hey, Sophia, who's the greatest of all time? Marin's the goat. That's not good. Miss Riley, your word is goat. Can you use it in a sentence? Goat? Yes. As in bah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Um... Uh, to goat somebody is maybe to uh, egg them on. So quit goading me. 
Hey, Soph, do you want to be in this video? No, I got a dip. Okay, Miss Brennan, we need you to use this word in a sentence and guess what it means. Okay. Your word is dip. Dip. Not dab. No. <laughs> All right, dip. Uh, let me see. Dip. I took a dip in my pool. That's how I would use that word. I mean, you're not wrong, but you're also not wrong. <laughs> Isn't Marin so cool? No, nah, that's Cap. All right, Miss Eccles, can you guess this word and use it in a sentence? I'll try. The word is cap. Cap. Oh, probably to uh, like the maximum thing. Like I capped out at uh, doing eight hours of homework because I was all tired out. <laughs> hey, Em, isn't Reed looking so drippy today? So drippy. Okay, I'm here with Mr. Gamacourt. Can you guess what this word means? I'll try. Drip. Oh, it's a type of coffee. I like it's a drip coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And can you use it in a sentence? Yeah, I just made a drip coffee. Nice. Mike is looking so snatched today. Wow, so snatched. All right, Miss Swain, can you use this word in a sentence and guess what it means? Okay. Snatched. Okay, well, if I snatch something, I'm like taking it from you. So I'm going to snatch your math. Nice try. Now that you know what it means, can you use it in a sentence? I look snatched in this mathlete's drip. Just yeah. <laughs> Hi, Bay Ridge. It's Mrs. Swain here. I have great news to share. The University of Waterloo recently sent us the results from the CEMC math competitions that you wrote back in February. And I'm going to take this opportunity to share some of the results with you. Um, before I do that though, I do want to give a huge shout out to all the Bay Ridge staff who helped us to run the competitions this year. Uh, as you know with COVID, we haven't been able to do things the way we normally do them uh, in terms of our practices, in terms of how we ran the contest. And a lot of teachers took time out of their courses to help me uh, run the competitions with the students who wanted to write. So I just wanted to say thank you to all those people who were involved. Uh, I also want to say how incredibly impressed I was that we had 72 of you step up to write the competitions this year. Uh, I was not expecting that many and I'm incredibly proud that so many people uh, took on the challenge during this strange time. So uh, without further ado, here are some of the highlights from the grade 9 Pascal, the grade 10 Kaylee and the grade 11 Fermat contest from 2021. So we'd like to take this opportunity to present to you the names of the students who earned the top five scores on each of the competitions this year. Starting with the Pascal contest written by our grade nine students this year. Our top five scores were earned by Roman, Kai and Isabel who tied for fourth place, Gracie, Declan, and Wenyu Sun. Congratulations to Wenyu, who earned the highest mark at Bay Ridge on the Grade 9 competition this year. Next up, we have the Kaylee Contest, which is the Grade 10 competition. Our top five scores were earned by Xander, Akram, James, Maya, and Owen. Congratulations to Owen Swain who earned the top mark at Bay Ridge on the grade 10 competition this year. Finally, we have the results from the Fermat contest written by our grade 11 students. The top five scores were earned by Owen, Emily, Nick, Renan, and our top score at Bay Ridge was Mr. Michael Cox. A huge shout out to Michael, who also got the highest score of all of the contests written at our school this year. Congratulations to Michael. So stay tuned. Uh, in the near future, I will provide everybody who wrote the competition a copy of their score so that you can get some feedback on how you did. And uh, just to finish up with a huge congratulations to everybody who wrote. We look forward to more wonderful things coming from our mathletes in the future. Have a wonderful April break, everybody. Thanks, Ms. Swain. We're proud of all you mathematicians. 
Up next, we have an update from EcoTeam, and they'll be giving us some information about Earth Week. Hi Blazers, I'm Maeve, and this is Renon. We're both environmental ministers for this year and representing EcoTeam. So today I am so excited to tell you that we have Earth Week coming up. Yes, April is known to be the month that involves one of the many environmental actions of the year, including Earth Day on the 22nd. And for that week of the month, um, EcoTeam will be providing you with lots of fun opportunities to learn about sustainability and environmental stewardship. So Earth Week is going to start from April 19th and until the 23rd. These events will be held online so we can follow COVID protocols, but there will be some interactive experiences where you can win prizes. On the first day Monday, we will have composting with Miss Cameron, and she'll give us some tips during an interview about how to compost properly. And on Tuesday, we'll be presenting you a link to a video on Zero Hunger by the United Nations. We're also collaborating with the Arts Council to launch a nature photo gallery online. So this is the due date uh, to send in your creative art related to anything about nature or sustainability. And moving on to Wednesday, we're doing an Instagram Live. We're sharing some of the sustainable ways to cook using the peels of fruits and vegetables that some people would think to throw away. And that brings us to Earth Day, which will be on Thursday. Please dress up in your best blue and green outfits. And also, a link to the Nature Photo Gallery will be posted. You can walk through a virtual 3D exhibit and see everyone's photos that they've sent in. Finally, there is a Kahoot to finish up the week. The top three winners get to win free Barrage reusable water bottles. So be sure not to miss this opportunity. And that's it from EcoTeam, and we look forward to seeing you participate in the Earth Week. Remember, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing's going to get better. It's not. Thanks so much for listening, and we're so excited for all that's to come with Earth Week. Bye! Thanks, EcoTeam. Up next, we have a special performance from Mr. McCourt and his class. Thanks, Mr. McCourt. That was incredible. And up next for our last segment, we have a grade challenge where we had some international students say a word in their language and we had our grade representatives guess what it means. Grade challenge, yokoso. The word I chose is kokon kao. It means lacrosse. Okay, the word what did I choose is the beberka and it means squirrels. The word that I choose is rosso, that in English is red. Uh, the word that I chose is acero, which is maple tree. And the word is 
Some kind of food. No. Sure. It's a sport. Sport. Uh, baseball. No. Soccer. No. Uh, football. No. Golf. No. Um, swimming. <laughs> Lacrosse. Yeah. yeah. Lacrosse. Okay, so the word is Veverka. Veverka. It's an animal. Um, you like a giraffe? No. <laughs> no it's a... uh, actually, they live everywhere. You can see it basically on the trees, on the ground, and it's everything. Fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So the word is rosso. <laughs> um, sounds like rose. No. Um, it's not a thing. It's more a color. A color. Mhm. Mm oh, is it pink? No. Is it red? Yes. Okay. Hey. Okay. So the word is. Acho. Acho? Yeah. Um, I think this has something to do with nature. Yes, it does. Okay. Um, is it flower? No. There's a lot of it around here. It's grass. famous. I know. Um, is it a tree? Yes. It's a kind of tree. It's a kind of tree? Maple tree? Yep. Thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you next time.